right, so we're going to talk about Photoshop real quick. I'm going to show you guys where all the menus, submenus, the toolbox, and the uh, palettes are. All right, so right here on the very, very top, this is your main menu. So you have the file menu, you have the edit menu, the image menu, you have the layers menu, and on and on and on. Everything inside of the menu, if it has a triangle on the right hand side, those are sub menus. So when I talk about menus, I'm talking about the main menu. When I refer to a sub menu, for example, image, and we want to make an adjustment, we would go to the sub menu to the right hand side. If it's grayed out, that means that it's not available. All right, so then you have the palettes. The palettes are these windows right here. I'm going to drag them out so you can see them better. Uh, these palettes right here are collapsible and I've created this in this way so that I would have as much screen room as possible. Okay. I will show you guys how to dock, how to customize your workspace. This is canvas right here. And this is the toolbox. This is where all the tools that you're going to use in Photoshop can be found. Now you will notice that some of the tools have a little triangle on their right hand, bottom right hand side. Uh, that is because each one of these tools, if you right click on them, you will see that you have additional tools. So you have, for example, for the lasso, you have the lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool and the magnetic lasso tool. And then on the right hand side in the tools, you will see the shortcut, the letter L. Same thing for the menu. On the right hand side of every menu, you have a shortcut. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is the toolbox. And the main reason why is because I want you guys to notice one thing. Every time I select a tool, you will notice the bar below the menus changes. Okay, that is the tool, the specific tools options. So if I select the move tool, I get all those options. If I select the marquee tools, which is the elliptical and the square marquee, right? Uh, also called the uh, rectangular marquee, you will notice that the options change. When I select the lasso, the options change. When I select the magic wand, the options change. Same thing with the crop tool, the eyedropper, the spot healing brushes. So if you want to find out the name of a brush, what you do is you move your mouse on top of the icon and then you wait two seconds and it'll tell you move tool. It will give you the shortcut uh, in parentheses. In this case, the elliptical marquee tool, the shortcut is M. So if I hit the letter M, it takes me for the marquee tool. Now, if I want to switch tools to go from the rectangular marquee tool to the elliptical marquee tool, what I have to do is hit Shift M, which is the shortcut for the rectangular marquee tool. And if I hit shift M, it'll take me to the marquee tool. Now all these shortcuts can be changed. All right. Another thing that I want to talk about, and it's something that it confuses a lot of people is that the palette options on the right hand side, you will see the little icon with the three horizontal dashes. So if I click on the layers palette on the tab, then this option button is the options for the palette of the layers. If I click on the actions tools and I go to the right hand side and I click on the options of that palette, these are the options that I get for the actions palette. Make sure that you click on the tab first and then you go to the options.